Morning Jacket, Saturday the 22nd of November. First of all, I just want to say I completely agree with you, biomimetics is a great thing, and it was more a point of about the arrogance of humanity to say that we're the most evolved, when really we've all been evolving for the same amount of time, and we're all adapted to our own environments, whatever they may be. Next, back onto the Theolander, um, thank you for the more information. Um, I had a little bit of a look up, and even if it is only getting one hour of sunlight a day, to think about how it landed is incredible. So there's a video on the Telegraph website, which I'll link in the description for you to have a look at. To put it into perspective, it was a nine-year mission. The comet was 6.5 billion kilometers away and traveling at 42,000 kilometers per hour. So pretty impressive nonetheless. Good news from this week, Obama's at it again. He just doesn't care what people think. And he's got a new rule about immigration. Now, American immigration isn't my key area of expertise, but from what I've understood, illegal immigrants that have been in the country for more than five years and have legal children in the country are now allowed to apply for work permits, so they should be able to stay for another three years. What happens after that, I'm not so sure, but at least it means it can stay with their families for a bit longer. In his address when he announced this, Obama raised some really good points that I think a lot of people forget. He spoke about how America is just full of immigrants, and it's the same here in the UK. And he said, whether our forebearers crossed the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, or the Rio Grande, we are all immigrants, and what made America great was that America welcomed us. I'm not really sure that the first wave of immigration was very great, um, but we'll gloss over that. Staying on the other side of the pond in the US, there's some news from Walmart. Jack, you may have heard over the years how Walmart treat their employees, and generally it's not very well. Walmart are the largest private company in America, and they have 16 billion pounds of profit each year, which for one family ain't too bad. So for those two things to be true, to be treating their employees poorly and to be very wealthy, is not something I'm very happy with, and not something the employees are happy with, obviously. So this Friday, Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving when all retailers have a huge sale, Walmart employees are going on strike. And it's not just a couple of employees here and there, it's across 1,600 stores in the US, which is a lot. What they're fighting for is more hours and higher wage so that they can provide for their family. I don't think too much to ask from a family that has 16 billion in profit alone. So good luck to them. My next piece, Jack, is about Laurie Holden from The Walking Dead. So you may have seen that she was recently involved in a sting operation in Colombia to free some sex slaves. The operation was very successful and they freed 55 people, which is incredible news. I wanted to bring your attention a bit more to what's going on and how she got involved with that. So there's a man called Tim Bard, who's a US government employee, and he set up this Operation Underground Railway. Operation Underground Railroad, oh, uh, uh, Operation Underground Railroad. Operation Underground Railroad organized under, under, uh, Operation Underground Railroad organized, opera, uh, Operation Underground Railroad organized, Operation Underground Railroad organized underground, undercover operations. Operation Underground Railroad organize undercover operations around the globe <sighs> that aim to liberate child slaves, and they're doing a really good job. There's actually a movie coming out about them called The Abolitionists, link in the description, and you can check out more about the organization, it's called rrescue.org, again, link in the description. Oh, and also one more link in the description, uh, he did an interview with Glenn Beck in the US, um, which is really worth checking out, he's a really nice guy, he's incredible, um, and can give you an oversight of some of the work that he's doing. So back up to our side of the pond, down in Spain, I want to talk about a party called Podemos. So Podemos are a party that was founded just in January, and it's an anti-disestablishment party, and they're cropping up all over the place in Europe. But unlike the parties we have here in the UK, oh, not name them, Podemos have some really good ideas, um, and it's really quite encouraging. It's often in politics we think about the left versus right, and they say it's not about left versus right, it's about above versus below. Some of the highlights from their manifesto include banning banks from being able to evict families from their homes, a lower retirement age, and banning profitable companies from sacking workers. So despite only being founded in January of this year, they got 8% of the European Parliament votes. And they're not interested in running councils and proving that they can manage collecting bins. They want to go straight to the top, and people are already saying it's not a matter of if Podemos get into power, it's a matter of when. So definitely something worth keeping track of. Final global news, we're staying on this side of the pond and we're going up north, we're going to Scotland. So, Jack, obviously you know about the Scottish referendum and what's going on there. You may not know that they have a new First Minister, which is Nicola Sturgeon. And she is the first female Scottish First Minister in history. One of the first things she's done as First Minister is set up her cabinet, or the senior ministerial team. So what's great about this new cabinet is that she set it up and it is 50-50 gender split men and women, which I think is probably the best gender split that any cabinet has ever had, I don't know. Um, but definitely great news from Scotland. So to finish check my last few pieces, personal things from me. Number one, I'm on holiday for a week. Yes! Number two, I'm doing Movember, and you can tell. Yes! And number three, my video was uploaded on time. <laughs> Jack, I'll see you on Wednesday.